when I'm having a more difficult day, I like to go into our spare bedroom in our home and play hymns on my mom's old piano. It's something that really lifts my spirits. So I think that's transcultural and uh, true across time. Of course, there were no pianos in the biblical world, but we do have a couple of instruments here that were very much a part of the biblical world. Both stringed instruments, uh, the more portable and small Likinor, and the larger uh, Nevel, uh, both mentioned in scripture. What I, what I find so interesting, particularly in the poetry, is when the, the poets of scripture in the Psalms are looking to express an idea, uh, sometimes they use musical instruments to tell those stories. Psalm 137 is a good example of this. God's people had been deported to Babylon, and in order to express the horror of that moment, the poet says they took their kinor and they hung them in the willow trees. Uh, they put them there because they just didn't want to play them. They didn't want to hear the sounds anymore that they were so used to hearing in the temple in Jerusalem that by this time had been destroyed. Um, sometimes I feel like that. Uh, sometimes I'm having a day when uh, you know, even going into the spare bedroom and playing the piano doesn't feel good to me. And so what does the Lord say to me in a moment like that? Psalm 150 is amazing. He takes us to this place where it says, I've now been through all of the emotions and experiences in life, through the first 149 Psalms. And that Psalm says to me at those dark times, pick up both this instrument, the kinnor, pick up the navel and praise the Lord. Uh, that is a powerful remedy to the most difficult times in our life, music and praising the Lord.